This video was brought to you by Wondershare Filmora. This is Anthony. He was a deadbeat loser playing video games in his room all day until he got a summer job with the daily paper. As a paper boy, this young man gets paid to ride his bike through the neighborhood and to practice his throwing skills. <laughs> What do I say? Oh, okay. Yeah, I I love my job as a paper boy. Send in your application today. With a competitive pay of 50 cents an hour, this is an opportunity your teens will not want to miss. Isn't this less than minimum wage? Oh, okay. Thanks. Hopefully you enjoyed that skit that we just finished filming. As you might have guessed, today we are going to be replicating vintage 1950s style black and white footage in Filmora 10. Making a vintage style skit has been on my bucket list for over a year now, so I'm pretty happy that I finally got around to making it. Making it was a lot of fun, uh, but it also proved to be a little more complicated than I had originally anticipated. I'll show you all of that in a minute, but for now, let's just jump right in and get started. All right, here we are in Filmora's opening screen. The first thing that you're going to want to do when starting a new project is to make sure that you have the correct aspect ratio selected. In this case, we're gonna go with four by three, which was pretty much the standard aspect ratio in all of the footage that I watched for reference. You can also go with one by one if you want to post this on Instagram or maybe even as a YouTube short like I did. But for the sake of this tutorial, we are sticking with four by three. All right, so I've got my footage right here and I'm just gonna drag the whole thing into the timeline. I don't really care. Then, this is very important, you don't wanna mess up here. You're going to click Keep Project Settings. Next, you're gonna resize the clip to fit the frame. You'll notice that the sides over here are transparent so that you can see what you're actually cutting off. Just ignore it, it won't show up in the final video. Next, you're gonna wanna go to Effects and go down to the black and white section. You're going to select Willow and then you're just gonna drag it down on top of your footage. And just like that, we've got a base black and white look, but we're not done yet. While I was researching this video, I went on YouTube and just found a bunch of random clips from the 1950s, and something that I noticed across all of it was little scratches and dust particles showing up on screen. If we go down to overlays, we can click on the old film folder, and here you'll see a bunch of different film effects. All of these are good for different time periods, but again, like I said, we are specifically replicating the 50s. We want to keep it subtle here, nothing too over the top, so I'm just going to select a basic dirty film effect and drag it down over my footage. And just like that, we've now got a baseline effect for our video. There are some additional effects in here that I found helpful to mix it up. For example, on one clip, I added some light mud splatter. The leader effect right here also looks pretty cool. So now we've got the visual stuff down. We've got our basic effect and then several other effects to mix it up as well. Now comes the hard part. Audio. The sound design was the trickiest part of making this video, because first of all, I am not an audio expert, and second of all, because of the equipment that they used at the time, audio recorded in the 50s has a very distinct quality to it that I had to figure out how to replicate. Fortunately, Filmora does have some preset audio effects, and I thought that Classic and Soft both sounded the most vintage. After deliberating between the two, I ultimately went with Classic and I just applied it to every single audio track in my timeline. Then I downloaded some vinyl fuzz from freesound.org, shout out to the guy who went through the trouble of recording this and uploading it, and I had it play in the background at a nice low volume. Interestingly, the most difficult thing was finding copyright free music that fit the time period. All of the 1950s era videos that I watched have a distinct style of orchestra music, and it was surprisingly hard to find a track that sounded the same and was also copyright free. After scouring YouTube and Freesound, I did eventually find a song on Envato Elements, which is a subscription site that I pay for, and while it's not a 100% match in my opinion, it's still close enough. Finally, most videos from the 50s had an announcer narrating the action, so I wrote a script and had my dad come in and read it. So shout out to my dad for being more than happy to talk about his son being a loser. So there you go, that is how I created a vintage style video using Filmora 10. Feel free to use this as inspiration for yourself because that's the whole point of this tutorial. There's something super cheesy but fun about the whole style, so again, I'm glad that I finally got around to making it. If you enjoyed the skit and you found the tutorial helpful, be sure to let me know by leaving a like, and also consider checking out the rest of my channel for more short films, tutorials, and reviews. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.